Okay, okay, so it's story time. I... <laughs> I, was, I was talking to the receptionist at work today, and in the middle of our conversation about how there's a mouse in my apartment, um, I got a text message from my landlord, and he says, what, what day is trash day over there again? And I thought, okay, that's a weird thing to ask me, but whatever, um, it's Tuesday. And then I sat and I thought, and I, like, there, there's no reason that he would be asking me this. Someone else is asking him this. Like, maybe somebody who wants to move in here. Um, here as in downstairs, as in where Smoking Guy lives. I did, I, I did a search for my address on Craigslist, and it's there. He listed the places available February 1st. So this is why he got rid of all the garbage. This is why he got rid of the Centauri Dream House. Um, and then like a few minutes later, he says, you know, oh, hey, I'll let you know about who the new tenant's going to be. Um, I want to keep you like quiet and safe over there. So, you know, I'll, I'll give you a heads up. And I'm still like screaming like, oh my, is this real life? Is this a real thing that's really happening to me? And I send him text messages, like I explaining in increasingly frantic detail how much I needed the next person who lived here to be a non-smoker. I was like, I am spending so much money counteracting him and his smoke, and I w would probably be here long term, actually, if this man was not smoking. I don't know if that did it or not, but he said, oh, yeah, absolutely, thanks for reminding me. I would prefer a non-smoker, too. It, it'll definitely be non-smoking. Like, I'm... I, I can't. I... I mean, this is me. This is me calm about it, because when I got the news at work, I started trembling. I couldn't hold a pen. I ran, like physically ran, like like run, forest, run, kind of. Sh I'm still wearing my coat and my scarf from being outside. I just came back from work. None of my lights are on except the one up above this computer because I'm just. I was crying. I was sobbing into like a pile of toilet paper at work because I was so overwhelmed that this was a real thing that was really happening to me. You don't understand. I can wash shit now and not just despair that it's going to pick up a smell immediately. There are so many things that I just have not washed because it hasn't seemed worth it. Like there are dresses in that I can wash everything. And it will all smell nice. I don't have to burn candles as a necessity. I can just decide, hey, I'd like to fucking burn a candle today. It won't need to, I won't need to do, I won't need to go and buy constant refills for my air purifier that doesn't really do anything. I, I I'm, I'm screaming inside. I, I, I did not actually dare to hope. I joked about it. I told people shit like, oh, look, he just dumped out a whole bunch of garbage this week. And then the next week, I'm like, wow, he's throwing out a lot of big old bulky kids toys that would be really inconvenient to move with. And huh, he hasn't actually been living in the house for like a month and a half. That's great. You know, like, and I just kept thinking, okay, it's because he can't afford to pay for heat. So he's like staying with somebody else. And then he'll be back here to make my life hell again once the summer is back. Like, I had all these... I, I dared not hope. You don't understand. And, and now it's done. The, the day that I went for my wisdom tooth surgery is the last time I'll ever have to deal with that guy smoking downstairs. Holy shit! <sighs> my brother and I are literally going out to dinner tonight to celebrate. We both got fucking, for some reason, we got fucking Applebee's gift cards from our grandmother. Neither of us knew what we were really going to use those for ever. And we almost went once when we were driving out there and we were lonely and bored. And we were like, hey, fucking Applebee's, let's go. And then neither of us had actually brought the gift cards. But now, motherfuckers, I'm going to Applebee's.